In this video, you're gonna find out four best ways to find new crypto pre-sales for 100x IDO, ICO, and IOs. So essentially any token sales. Before we jump in, my name is Arseny. Welcome to Vesper channel. On this channel, we break down new crypto protocols that can bring high ROI for our investments. And don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And now, yeah, let's begin. So initial coin offerings have clearly been the most lucrative niche in crypto space. Profits in active trading are calculated in percent, whereas investments in early stage crypto startups deliver ROI that is measured in access. And the history of crypto public and private pre-sales encompasses numerous coin launches with 10x, 100x and even 1000x returns. But there is the flip side of the coin. The hardest task in the ICO niche is casting around for those pre-sales and riffling through a myriad of sketchy web 3.0 protocols and shady crypto games with no potential. To illustrate, out of 800 different coin sales that came about in 2022, only 150 currently have a positive ROI as of July 2022. Not only is crucial to track all the crypto startup launches, but also you need to carefully weigh up each project, which is quite an effort demanding task. And today I will show you a combination of tools that will allow you to get ahead of the masses. By the way, I have a specifically dedicated video to IDOs, IOs and ICOs on my YouTube channel, so check that out. The first tool is ICO Drops. It's no frills ICO calendar with five useful category tabs, active, upcoming, ended, whitelist, and stats. Though the greatest utility is derived from upcoming and whitelist. Upcoming assists you with hunting for new coin sales. And whitelist section is of use if you're interested in getting whitelisted to bypass high staking requirements for uh, on different ICO launch platforms. And I didn't find any particular benefit coming from the active, ended and stats sections. The first two display all missed opportunities and the last mention does a poor job in presenting analytics for past ICOs. And of course, it's crucial to learn from past victories and failures and the next tool accomplishes this mission much more effectively. Also when ICO drops, every ICO has a specially dedicated page in which you can get a basic estimation of the odds of the success of the launch and decide whether you want to continue doing a further research about this project or you can just move on to the next one. Now the next tool is CryptoRank.io and personally it's my favorite one. This analytics platform is a full-fledged tool for ICO, IDO and IOs. And let's assess all arguments that support this statement. There is a section that is dedicated exclusively to IDO and IOs which comprises six more subsections. Firstly, you can track all forthcoming coin sales. You can sort all upcoming events by their type, category, date and launchpad. It's Terrific, isn't it? CryptoRank also has a dedicated page for every ICO launch and compared to ICO drops, it provides a more interactive overview of tokenomics and reveals venture funds that invested in this startup. Additionally, you can take your ICO mastery to the next level by doing what 99% of the crowd overlooks. Go to the past section and there you will discover all past successful and failed coin sales. It's a highly paying up habit to assess all facets of an already conducted ICO and try to learn what caused the sale to take off or what left its investors empty-handed. You can also see which IDO or IO platforms have performed the best and even take a closer look at each launchpad. And CryptoRank provides enough statistics for you so that you can decide which launchpad, uh, which IO platform, which uh, crypto exchange is better for you. And again, I'm not affiliated with CryptoRank in any way. This is just from my personal experience. By the way, on Vesper channel, I also review different launchpads. I've reviewed already uh, DAOMaker, Polka starter, so definitely check out those videos. And we're gonna continue. Another handy feature is an analysis of the profitability of launchpad platforms of all types of all coin offerings. So definitely check it out. You're gonna find out which launchpad is the best for you. And not only does CryptoRank serve as a go-to tool for initial coin offerings, but also you may benefit from its portfolio tracking feature. Once you invested in an ITO, you connect your wallet to the tracker and it will pull up all your investments along with the recent performance so you can uh, get the basic idea of whether uh, you're going in the right direction or uh, with the projects that you're investing in or you should probably tweak your strategy a little bit make it more profitable and just focus on different sort of projects now the question is which one is better and from my experience crypto rank not only supplies and presents investors with more comprehensive data but also it monitors more ICOs for example there has been recently a launch of another move to earn named drivesy and crypto rank had a precise 
schedule for the ICO on all launch pads where DriveZ was taking place, whereas ICO drops didn't list this DriveZ project at all. And I did invest in this project and uh, during the token generation event, 20% got unlocked. I've instantly sold them and have instantly uh, fully, almost fully returned like all the money that I've invested in this project. And this is this was done by only selling 20% of all Drive's tokens. So another 80% I'm gonna sell them later. And probably, probably uh, I'm not gonna get all my money back because right now it's a bear market. So uh, very few projects are going to survive and they're going to get uh, like to the next bull run but at least uh, I didn't lose anything so this drives it was definitely uh, not a mistake because again on bear market uh, it's not about actually making like huge access on bear market it's about actually saving what you already have and not losing anything and I've got some experience and I didn't lose any money so I'm kind of like um, doing good on the bear market and this is thanks to the crypto rank because if I used uh, ICO drops I would have not find out about this Moonturn app now the next great tool for finding new token sales, token pre-sales, initial coin offerings, initial decentralized offerings, and initial exchange offerings are actually launchpads. So each launchpad has its own Twitter account and Telegram announcement channel. I personally prefer the latest as uh, Telegram delivers only the most important news about impending IDOs right to your inbox. Uh, whether Twitter like talks a lot about different like partnerships like um, ask me anything sessions and these pieces of information is very useful but if you just want to focus like on the most important ones then definitely go for telegram because twitter feed as i've said is overwhelmed with all updates related to like airdrops partnerships and as i've said ama sessions so launchpad is a great tool and also if you're going to be using telegram then definitely create a separate folder on your telegram and there you can group all of your uh, launchpad accounts like, like every two days you can just check all the new projects they're going to conduct their token sales on those launchpads and this is how you can make sure it's going to make like your whole crypto telegram news feed more organized and it's going to just make the process much more comfortable and convenient and if you're using twitter then create your a separate list of launchpads so that it can do the same instead of just like going like through all crypto news you can manage your time by like splitting up different crypto news into different categories now the next go-to tool for finding new icos itunes and ios is crypto aggregators so this is a telegram or a twitter profile that summarizes new icos it like summarizes all updates about new icos and like all important like key information like dates the launch pads where those ideas gonna take place and usually just like groups all of it like in one table and it makes quite convenient for you uh just like to see and get basic information whether any new promising projects that are gonna be released soon and a case in point is cryptograph and this is where you need to be very careful with any crypto aggregators usually these media provide you with a very shallow analysis and mainly serve you rather um, as notifiers for new projects coming up soon and a huge caveat here completely completely disregard their ranks and ratings that they provide for different projects they're of no use and will only bewilder you and trust me i've experienced this uh, firsthand so regardless of those ratings and rankings always do your own research and only trust yourself this comes from a uh, personal like, painful experience of getting into an ico without doing an in-depth analysis and reckon what happened i lost my money and this was because um marketing teams of icos uh, they partner up with these aggregators and they pay them some extra for those misleading numbers for those uh, misleading ratings like that time i just open a table i didn't have much time then like to analyze the project i thought like well if it's on the top probably it's going to be successful i guess that those guys are not trying to trick me and this iso completely failed so always do your own research and always just rely on yourself only so these were four best ways and the fifth like bonus way to find out about new coin sales and coin offerings is my telegram and discord channel so there we like our team uh, write about new icos along with a more profound analysis and also we post about recent investments of eminent venture funds announcements of new videos and ico market all around statistics so this might be quite useful for you you can see where big players are investing in right now like for example 
uh, right now the Bitcoin price is $21,000 and therefore everyone uh, is kind of in fear, like the uh, fear and greed index, index is like at 30, which is not that bad, but still not that good. And so we're definitely and like very obviously in the bear phase of the crypto market. And right now, uh, all crypto funds, again, this is based from the research and based from the data that uh, we've uh, our team has gathered and posted in the Telegram and Discord channel. So definitely check that out. All crypto funds and big institutions, they don't invest now in any games, in any play to earn or move to earn. Um, they mostly focusing on infrastructure and projects that have a fundamental problems that they're trying to solve and definitely have uh, some kind of proprietary technology that gives them that advantage. So yeah, that was it. Follow our social medias. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really hope that it was useful. And if it was, then please smash the like button, follow the Vesper channel. My name is Arseny and oh, also don't forget to check out the donation links. Uh, you can donate to Ukraine, help out my country that right now is going through a very tough times. See you in the next videos and always do your own research. This would be like the whole, the most important point that you can get from this video. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.